Thank you for continuing to uh, join us for listen to uh, the We've Been Drinking podcast, um, breaking down the UFC 286 Usman Edwards card. And this is a co-main event. This is the fight right here. I mean, this is the reason I'm ordering the pay-per-view. How about you, buddy? Fight of the night, right here. By the way, I'm lousy. Yep, and this is backhand. This is the co-main event, Justin Gaethje. The highlight, Justin, the highlight Gaethje. You got to give him his honors. He is the highlight, the human highlight. Uh, Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev, or Fiziev, some people say. Yeah. I'm going to say Fiziev, or I call him Fizzy, but I know him like that. Boom, so, <laughs> um, He's a Muay Thai fighter. Uh, he's a patient, very, very patient, but dangerous power, so watch out. And uh, Gaethje loves those firefights, and he just does not care. So it's going to be great. It's going to be, I th- it might be one round and done. <laughs> so don't blink, don't make your popcorn while this is going on. It's going to be fast. So it's going to be fun to watch. Let's go. In the distance. Let's let's go. My prediction is going to be uh, Rafael Fiziev um, as well. Um, you know, he is minus 230, so $230 to make 100 He's a pretty sizable favorite, around 68% or so. Um, thing is, though, it, like like Lousy says, fight of the night could get could end very quickly. Um, and the reason for that is Justin Gaethje has 7.6 significant strikes per minute. And when we say significant, we talk about strikes that really can damage you, you know, for your whole career. Yeah. I mean, we'll be He's honest a good here. Man for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Fiziev has uh, only 4.8 significant strikes per minute, which is good. But I mean, when you're going against a guy like Gaethje, it can be. It, it could be a, a little bit dangerous. That's why it's it's a super exciting fight. And for us, I mean, for me, I mean, this is my main event. This should be the main event. <laughs> yeah. Even though it doesn't, even though it's not for the championship. It's not even for the belt. Who cares about the belt, dude? The belt's not even real. All right. The belt. I mean, because someone could literally wrestle. Like Usman could just wrestle, right? Every fighter and just stall and then win fights, right? Yeah. So the belt really doesn't matter. The what matters is is who puts on the best performances and shows that this they that they're the best. Yeah, you can't be the best in stall. So Usman's a staller. I'm also yeah. So I don't want to talk too much about him. We're gonna predict him next. I'll just say it right now. I don't I don't think he's gonna win. <laughs> but uh, all right. So back to Fizzy of Gaethje. All right. So the thing is, is that uh, Gaethje's leg kicks are legendary. Le- I was like, I, consistently I, like painful looking <laughs> leg kicks that he has. Yeah, so Gaethje's got the leg kicks. Fiziev really just kind of touches your legs with his leg. He does not really go for damaging leg kicks. So Gaethje's got the, the leg kick battle won, like, handily. Thing, though, is is that Fiziev has a phenomenal body kick. When he hits you with a body kick, he doesn't just hit you, kick you in the uh, stomach. He'll kick you in the upper ribs. Yeah. This, this, this guy's so flexible. It looks like Neo out of the Matrix when he's dodging yeah. kicks. It's like he's doing the the limbo, yeah, like the I can dodge bullets yeah. or you can dodge bullets thing where he's doing yeah. the slow mo, the most famous scene. This is what he does, three, four, five times a fight. He just enjoys like showing his immense talent. He could keep the distance, and he does keep the distance, but he likes to stay relatively not too far away, slightly close, just because he likes to strike and put on wars and uh, for the fans. So. Fiziev uh, has the body kick, uh, extraordinary. You haven't seen anything like this, and when you hear it, it's like you remember Jack Maddalena. We talked about him, how he's got the thudding power with the yeah. punches. This guy's got the same thudding power with the body kicks. Like a fastball hitting a catcher's mitt, that type of kick. Like, yeah. Flump. It, it is. It is. You'll hear it. You turn the volume up, you will hear it. You know, uh, if the, unless the fans are cheering too much. But so this is the thing. Uh, he's got the body kicks. Um, Justin Gaethje doesn't throw body kicks really much. He just throws leg kicks. So it's going to be an interesting thing. Who's going to do more damage? It's going to be kind of equal. But like I said, Fiziev has, is, is a freak of nature with these body kicks. Freak of nature, I say. So um, he'll do more damage. Um, body kicks are dangerous because, you know, they can make you literally keel over and get KO'd um, just from a liver shot or something like that. So uh, Fiziev's got the edge there slightly. Um, also, we got to talk about Justin Gaethje. Gaethje's 34 years old. And uh, Fiziev is only uh, 30 years old. In his so, prime. In his prime. In his prime. He's gone on like a five, six fight win streak. Uh, you know, he KO'd Dos Anjos, who, uh, you know, was, you know, former champion. And, uh, you know, it was impressive because he just took it to him. He, he did a spin. And he's got kind of like every, almost every shot in the book. He's got a flying knee. He does a spinning back kick. He knocked out Brad, Brad Riddell with that. Um, so, okay, the other thing is that we got, we got to look at the punching. 
So in my opinion, um, Gaethje uh, is losing a little steam on his punches. Proof of that is with his last fight against the uh, former champ again, uh, Charles Oliveira. Uh, Gaethje, um, you know, he was punching pretty okay, like, but he's he's now flailing a little bit. I think his age is getting to him. He had a life or death fight with Michael Chandler. I would say life and death. I mean, it, it, it's a fight that can change your career, yeah. and I think it did change his career, and it showed because he got he thought he was gonna KO. Oliveira, who's the grappler slash puncher, Gaethje's like, he's going to be easy work. And then Gaethje got finished in one round by Oliveira, which honestly, I understand that Gaethje has that style where it's like kill or be killed. But to get finished in the way that he did, he looked bad. Yeah. He looked bad. Like Gaethje is a better fighter than that. So my point is, is that the age is showing that life or death fight with Michael Chandler is showing now. And is so going off that Oliveira fight, it's like he was gassed before even the first round started. So. He was like like walking in mud type stuff. So Yeah, Lousy likes to say, you know, he's punching wide. That's what Gaethje's doing. He's punching too wide. Um, he's landing with almost like it's turning into a slap with his hooks. His hooks are not landing clean. They used to be so clean the way he would land with counter hooks and just amazing hooks on Edson Barboza knocking him out in the first round. Uh, James Vick, same deal with that uh, leaping like a lion coming in with a, a right hand, right hook. Um, now the right hook, he's lost a lot of steam on it. It's almost landing like a slap now. Yeah. It's just showing his accuracy has gone down. His athleticism is going down. His uh, accuracy, everything with his punching is going down. Leg kicks are still there, but the punching is a problem. When you're going against a guy like Fiziev who can match you with the body kicks versus your leg kicks, now it's going to turn out into a punching situation. Fiziev has, has, has a strong straight right, straight power right hand where he'll just throw it and it's strong and he will hit you. Gaethje doesn't have much of a jab. Gaethje's got a one-two. He's got a good hook, good hook counter. But like I said, the hook is not working anymore. The uh, the one two is not what it used to be because you can see how he got after his one two. He just paused, hesitation because of his age, because of the life and death of Michael Chandler. He got knocked out by Charles Oliveira that quickly. Um, so he's hesitating. His age is getting to him. He's like forty years old. He's thirty four, but he's actually forty two. You know what I'm saying? With the age, because he he aged in that Michael Chandler fight. Fiziev, like like Lousy said, is in his prime. He's got the straight right, so he's gonna beat him to the punch with the with the one punch. The 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 one two is better from Fiziev now because he's in his prime. Fiziev also has a, a a three punch combo, which which he can do like mix it up with like a a, a clean hook and then a, and then a straight punch and uh, you know another punch. And he did that against uh, Dosanya. So when he wants to turn it on, he can go ahead and finish somebody. Uh, we can't say the same thing about Gaethje anymore. He can't do it because he tried to do it and then he got finished, right? So what's going to happen when he tries to turn it on when Fizia is putting the pressure? Uh, you know, Gaethje does have the more significant strikes per minute. I understand that. But that a lot of those are leg kicks. A lot of those those counters are not working anymore. So yeah. it's not the same thing. Those stats are are, are, are not indicative of what's going to actually happen now in, in, in the future. Because how tough Gaethje is, I don't think uh, the way you said, like, uh, how he's going to slow down because how tough he is with his leg kicks and his throwing. But, like, I agree. Like, this is going to be a firefight. It's going to be fight of the night, and somebody's going to be taken out, so in the distance it's going to be my bet. Right, and the one other thing is that Gaethje used to have phenomenal counters. to show that against Tony Ferguson, ended Tony Ferguson's career, basically. Uh, let's be honest, Tony Ferguson had to cut weight twice in two weeks, and then Gaethje just damaged him to the point where he went lost four in a row. So Gaethje is dangerous. Uh, the thing, though, is his counters, like I said, those hooks are not what they used to be. His hooks are still relatively dangerous, obviously, but Fiziev's uh, counters are phenomenal right now because he's in his prime. He's throwing it like there is no lag in between. It's just like a flash with his hooks, with his straights, uh, straight straight punches, counters. His counters are unbelievable right now at this moment. So we're talking about somebody in their prime, Fiziev, versus a guy who's really, truly out of his prime. And I believe that Gaethje's just not going to be the same after that Chandler fight. He's, not, he's never going to be the same. And I think if Lousy's right and it ends up being a KO, this could be the actually the, the decline of Gaethje. Because Gaethje goes out on his shield. Gaethje doesn't... Gaethje's a guy who kill, he looks to kill or be killed. And this is a fight where he can be truly killed. His career could be over after this one. It could be a bad decline. I, I agree with the decline if he loses in a bad way. But, like, if if he's in a firefight where he's kind of controlling a little bit, losing a little bit, controlling a little bit, uh, Gaethje's going to win this fight. But, like, um, inside the distance, you, that, you, I, I would, like, finishing. probably first round. Like, after after the first round, I would live bet it if you were going to go that route. But, like, mm -hmm. inside the distance. Yeah. I mean, uh, Fiziev is a little bit more calculated. You can see by the four significant strikes per minute, he's a little bit more calculated. So the KO might not happen for Fiziev. That's the only reason I'm going with Fiziev straight up. 
but I do like Inside the Distance as well because if Gaethje decides to say, you know what, I'm going to do it for the fans, he's the type of fighter that would do that and just get go go get KO'd or KO the other guy. So that could easily happen. I think there's a high chance that it happens, actually. So it's a good pick. Thanks uh, for listening, guys. Thanks for listening, everybody.